camped out in the living room last night for a movie night. Where was it? Eric. Eric Yeti. Ah! Wow, are you so fast? Fresh eggs for breakfast. I got a cutie little breakfast taco for you. You should probably sit down and eat it. Okay, I haven't posted on Instagram about our baby bunnies that were born this week. And I just went out to check on them. And I found them all dead scattered around the cage. They got out of their nest and they can die really quickly of cold. So I put them all on a heating pad. This one though, this is a little... The little survivor. So my friend Lauren is here and we're feeding it. Between the two of us, we were able to express this milk and we are going to try to give the baby a little bit of milk. I'm bringing it with us to monitor. Oh, look at how cute it is. Two minutes in and Lauren's found a caboodle. That is, that one's actually, that is so cute. So they quality over quantity <laughs> over here. We got another caboodle. It's got both sides. I'm gonna get both. <laughs> She's got a, her caboodles, people. I don't know what it is, but I am so happy about this wrapping paper that I got. I cannot wait to wrap up my Christmas presents in this. It's, it just delights me. House is a little chaotic right now, but we are heading. What is this thing called, Gray? I have no idea what it's called. Actually, it's all vintage, like all upcycled, or like upcycled stuff where they're like, uh, like create their own pieces from unused fabrics, uh -huh. or they're curating. A lot of it's like old streetwear. Cool, Frank. Oh, Frank's ready. He's got his streetwear on. Made it to downtown LA. Ruth, that's not too spicy. <laughs> Do you like it? You're crazy, girl. I think we're ready. Okay, which one, Ruthie? Uh, this one. No, nah, I'm not gonna get the cherries. <laughs> okay. Becca's getting a tooth. You can turn it off. Okay. As Ruth would say, that's so cutie. Well, it's Sunday now. After we left that event yesterday, I left this vlog camera on the front porch and I couldn't find it but not much happened last night we we did another movie night and the kids watched hook with gray in the living room I kind of decided I thought it would be nice if we did last week we did no screen time during the weekdays at all and then um Friday night and last night we did a little movie night and so I thought that that would be kind of a fun way to not completely cut out screen time but make it more of like a conscious fun family activity. I woke up this morning at like 3 a.m. and I was awake until 5 30 um but I was just thinking a lot about our rabbit situation and I just kind of wanted to clarify that before people think we're freaking bunny neglectors or something. Essentially what happened was our mother rabbit gave birth to nine kits. One of them was stillborn um and within a few days, you know, we were checking on the nest and everything. Everything seemed good. And there, the other night, so they were only four days, three or four days old, I guess. 
um, something happened during the night. I think just they they grow really rapidly, and so I think they outgrew the nest that she had made really fast. Um, we had helped, you know, create sides for the nest, but I, I just don't think it was big enough to keep all eight of the baby rabbits in. So when I went out there the next morning to check on them, they had, and they wriggle a lot. Like, there's a lot of this. It's kind of hard to understand if you've never dealt with baby rabbits before but they wriggle around and what's unique is about rabbits is that mothers cannot pick them up by their by like the scruff and move them like the way say a cat or a dog would so if the babies wriggle out of the nest they're screwed they need each other for body heat mother rabbits don't sit on their babies either in fact in the wild usually they leave their babies for pretty much the whole 24 hours and they only nurse five minutes a day they actually have the most nutrient dense milk out of any mammal which is kind of crazy but so the mamas can't do anything if the babies get out of the nest so when we came out the next morning the babies were scattered around the whole hutch and basically they just died of exposure and so they do say it's not a dead baby rabbit until it's a warm rabbit so because it's crazy their bodies can go into shock and they can literally be frozen stiff but once you warm them up you can look up videos on youtube once you start warming them up sometimes they do come back to life so i got them all on the heating pad i was rubbing their little bellies and um two started moving but then one just stopped and so only one out of all eight of those survived a difficult thing is is if you put just one or actually less than three bunnies back in the cage or back in the nest they need each other to maintain their body temperature they need to stay really really warm and like i said because the mama rabbits don't sit on them i'm like i don't think that we can maintain the baby's body temperature alone in the nest and then if we bring the hutch inside the house it will cause the mama a lot of stress because there's just like a lot of noises and a lot of activity with the kids that she's just not used to so I don't want to do that either because if mamas are really stressed and sometimes they can cannibalize their babies so what we're doing now is I just have it in a closet with a heater inside a little tiny nest box it's doing well I got um, kitten replacement formula yesterday when we were doing the colostrum. It was literally like right after I had brought it back to life and I was like, okay, I just want to get some calories in it. Um, but we're doing kitten, kitten replacement formula. Um, I've fed it a few milliliters of that already and it seems to be doing well. So I will be hand rearing it over the next couple weeks. I'm hoping that, you know, I'm reading everything and hoping I'm doing everything right and hopefully we can put it back uh, with the mama and um, I'll, I'll update on that. Both kids are passed out right now which is monumental because Ruth has pretty much given up naps but in the last few days she's been taking them again which is awesome. All we've really been doing today is just working on stuff in the backyard. Gray is cleaning out the chicken coop and then we're also moving, we had a rabbit hutch set up, but this one wasn't working very well. We're gonna move hutches around because we need to separate the male and the female because I don't wanna rebreed them again right away. I wanna give her some time to recover um, and gain some weight back. Gray's making a new roost in here, which a little roost bar for them. That one's pretty low to the ground though. Just so we're talking about. And then this was part of the chicken coop, but honestly, since they free range all the time, we don't really need it. So we got to finish filling it in with dirt. And I'm actually going to make this a second rabbit hutch. I'm going to close this part off to the rest of the chicken coop. He's looking for mama. Uh huh. And the nighttime shenanigans have begun. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, the floor is lava. Ruth, Frank, the lava is lava. A rat? Your feet are on fire, Ruth. Do you even have feet anymore? Oh, thank goodness. Daddy, I'm not trying to reach our feet. Oh, I'm gonna fall into the lava! I 
don't even know what's going on at this point. What is this? <laughs> oh, that's how pirates wear it. It's a Spider-Man do-rag. Your pirate hat? No. I fell asleep at like 8.30 last night, so I did not wrap up that vlog. Can I clear something up real quick? On the last vlog, right, people were like saying that I was cutting you off and editing you out. Can I just say that you gave your full permission because you were kind of in a mood? About... I should be, yeah. I should be cut <laughs> off sometimes. He was in a mood about certain people and certain situations, <laughs> and we were watching it together, and he was like, Ew. You can flip that. <laughs> now, the Lord of the Rings one, I was just messing with him. Guys, we're trying to vlog here. <laughs> Anyway, he gave me full permission on that. Don't worry, I promise I will include Gray's rants next time. In fact, Grayson, there are people saying that you are anti-Semitic because you said that the Prince of Egypt was Zionist propaganda. Maybe it's not, we... Yeah, that's not anti-Semitic. Okay, okay, well, maybe we should clear that up on the next Q&A. Okay. On that note, thank you for watching, everyone. Say thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody.